Hi guys, topic is about uh, diabetes and whether diabetes can eat fruits or not. The confusion, what fruits to eat, how much fruits to eat, whether diabetes can go up. So that is the confusion. Fruits are often a confusing topic for people with diabetes. They are sweets, right? Usually, fruits are sweet. So many believe that they are off limits. That is a very common thinking and a common misconception. Let us dig into some of the most persistent fruit myths and separate fact from fiction. Myth 1. Fruits are unhealthy and rise blood sugar dangerously. Fact is, all fruits rise blood sugar, but they do so differently. Fruits are a powerhouse of essential vitamins, minerals, and most importantly, fiber. Fiber is your friend. It slows down the absorption of sugar into your bloodstream which helps to prevent sharp spikes think of fiber as traffic jam for sugar helping it to get to its destination at a slower steadier pace so very interesting guys don't uh, skip it please continue to watch so fruits are not your enemy, they are good. Let us continue to understand what are the benefits of fruits. The key to enjoying fruit is a portion control. A handful of berries or three or four bananas is too high. One small apple is a good serving size. Okay, one banana is fine, one small apple is a good size. So, size matter. Eating an entire watermelon in one sitting is not correct. Eating one dozen banana is also not a good idea. The total amount of carbohydrates you consume from the fruit is what impacts your blood sugar the most. The myth too. People with diabetes must never eat mangoes. Mango season guys, it's about 4 to 5 months. Varieties of mangoes, very interesting. Mm, so people think eating mangoes, bananas or grapes. Okay, while it is true that these fruits are higher in natural sugar than others that does not make them forbidden. The idea is to think them as an occasional treat rather than as a daily staple and enjoy them in moderation. For example, a small size of mango or a half banana can be part of the balanced meal. Pairing these fruits with a source of protein or a healthy fat like handful of nuts or a spoonful of nut butter can further slow down sugar absorption. This is because the protein and the fat act like a extra roadblocks making the sugar journey even slower. So guys, very, very interesting guys. So you should eat the fruits in moderation. We talked about banana, mango and grapes, which normally people think and it is naturally also sugar is high. Please make sure in moderation along with other 
things we discussed. Myth 3. Fruit juice, fruit juice is a, just as good as whole fruit. Fact. This is one of the most important distinctions you can make. While the glass of 100% fruit juice may seem healthy, it is completely different experience for your body than eating the whole fruit. When you drink fruit juice, the fiber is gone. This means the sugar hits your bloodstream quickly and causes a rapid spike in the blood sugar. So guys, very very important, please note whenever you make a fruit juice, the fiber is gone. So it is completely like a sugar and it is eating your bloodstream and it will spike up the blood sugar. It is like a high speed chase with no roadblocks to slow. So there is no traffic jam. There is no so, so, so it is not going to slow down. There is no fiber. On the other hand, a whole apple with all its pulp and skin provides the crucial fiber that allows the sugar to be absorbed gradually. So guys, please do not peel off the uh, skin of the apple. Eat along with the skin of the apple so that the, it'll, the pulp will give you fiber and it slowly gets absorbed. Uh, when in doubt, always choose whole fruit over juice. Even if it is a freshly squeezed, the nutritional benefit of fiber is what you are missing. Your practical guide of, to enjoying fruit now that we have busted this mice uh, myths, how, and, uh, how can you practically incorporate fruit into your diet? serving size. So aim for one or two servings of fruits per day. A single serving is roughly the size of your fist. Okay. Go for low GI fruits. So don't go for high GI fruits, glycemic index fruits. Go for low GI fruits. Choosing a fruits with a low glycemic index can help keep your blood sugar stable. Low GI fruits cause slower rise of blood sugar compared to high GI fruits. So guys, whenever you are eating fruits, so check the glycemic index of the fruits and then accordingly decide. Smart choices. Some great low GI options includes apples, pears, berries, guava, and oranges. These fruits are packed with fiber and nutrients, making them a safe and healthy addition to your diet. So guys, please understand, nutrients also is very important, and also fiber along with the sugar content. So next point is timing matters. Try to eat fruit as part of a meal or a snack that also includes protein and fat. This can help to prevent blood sugar spike. Remember, fruits are one of the nature's best sources of vitamins. So uh, fiber and antioxidants. They are powerful tool for your health. So not something to be feared when eaten in the right portions and with an understanding of the glycemic index of the each of the fruit which affects your body. They can be a delicious and a healthy part of your diabetics control management plan. 
so guys please like share subscribe to my channel and uh, don't forget to comment which is your favorite fruit uh, which you eat as a diabetic patient so thank you guys thanks for watching my video today